Hey y'all, it's Joanna and I love to DIY on a budget and make beautiful home decor. And if you like to sew, then catch me on Saturdays. Now, let's get crafty. I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful fabric pumpkins. Let's get started. My air kicked on and I had to move you back, so I hope you can hear me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I need so many of these. Thank goodness I got two of these fat quarters. You do not have to use fat quarters, you can get fabric at uh Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever. Walmart has fat quarters too, but you're gonna want to put these together the right way. <laughs> And since I need to cut so many, I'm just using two. If I have any extra, yay. If not, whatever. So I'm going to put my selvage together because that seems to make sense because I know that's straight. So I'm going to take my two pieces, okay? Making sure I have them both going the right way. Now you want to do this on the side that you're looking at. This, this I mean, the right side. <laughs> You're looking at it you're gonna be doing it on the side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my template and I hope I can see this but I'm gonna use my black Frixon pen they do sell these at Walmart but I have them in my Amazon store if you're interested but these go out with the iron or you can use a hairdryer or a heat gun okay so I am going to lay these on here and just trace them out and I'll see what I get I may have been able to do one fat quarter and got quite a few I don't know but we'll see let me see I went ahead and traced out 10 now I don't know if you can see them or not but now I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to put in the middle of each one because I don't want my fabric to shift you can put them anyway it doesn't matter you can do more than that if you're not not sure you know about your fabric shifting or not okay now I'm gonna cut right around these circles now if you can sew them on your fabric like this you go ahead but I, I gotta use my machine as a guide so I am now going to unhappily cut out all of these ovals I it's a lot but yeah so now that I've got them I'm gonna cut them all out right on my lines okay okay so I was gonna cut outside the line but I actually cut on the line so I could have made these a lot closer together but it certainly helps to cut them apart and then just pick it up because this fabric is stiff it hasn't been washed and if you have washed it you can certainly starch it and that would be fine and I'm just going to cut this out like this. Now, if you can go around here with a rotary cutter, kudos, 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 <laughs> kudos to you. I cannot. So I'm cutting mine with my scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting all these out, okay? I just wanted to show you that it's easier to cut them apart. Now when you're cutting these, whichever way you're cutting them, I normally don't hold my fabric up in the air, but you really want to hold your fingers close to your, to your um, scissors so that you make sure that you get your two fabrics as close to the same, uh, you know, perfect cut as you can, if there is such thing as a perfect cut. So now I am going to bring my sewing machine over here and I don't know if you'll be able to see or not I hope you can but you'll kind of see what I'm doing here but my needle is all the way to the right <laughs> you leave an opening so you can stuff it and I'm just put your machine oh I got this on the wrong the wrong thing put your stitch length on a two okay you want a shorter stitch to go around a circle and and drive slow guys drive slow <laughs> okay so we're just gonna go around our pumpkins back stitch
Now when you get back to this, make sure you move your thread and back stitch and leave you an opening so you can stuff these just a little bit, okay? And it's easier to cut your thread here and then cut your thread here on your thread cutters as opposed to bringing them over here and snipping threads. So I'm gonna sew on every one of these, okay? Now that we have all of them sewn up, we're going to take and open up our little hole here. And it's small, y'all, it's teeny tiny. So you take a little bit of stuffing and start it. Use one of your fingers. If you can't, get a pencil eraser, okay? And twist and it will shove that down in. Now once you get it started, you can keep feeding that in there if you don't lose it, okay? And don't worry about your fabric going down in there. Just keep adding pieces a little at a time. This is the easiest way to stuff a small hole, hole um, when you're sewing something, okay? So you want to fill this pretty good that look like a kidney bean um you want to fill them pretty full but you don't want to stuff it tight does that make sense i hope so because sometimes i don't know if i do and y'all i have no idea i just looked at a picture and then here we go all right make sure that this state can flatten here okay see how that looks a little bit puffy once you get them done you just take them and you put them under your machine and then you just close up your hole okay so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stuff all mine and close my holes okay y'all when y'all when y'all sew these kind of take your hand and smash it down and it will help you get this sewn like that right there but you need to smash it down and i'm telling you what stuffing all these little things got on my nerve and then when you get it just kind of fluff it around a little bit okay you don't want them all these wrinklies per se kind of fluff them around a bit um but if you got a child grandchild or nephew or something nephew <laughs> get someone else to stuff them y'all my nephew used to help me stuff 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 and uh I was making fabric cats one time and he, he was stuffing the tails and they have pretty long tails and y'all he stuffed that tail and he stuffed it so hard and so stiff when he held it up we just we got to laughing so hard that I can't tell you what happened to me but it was you know I've had kids so that should tell you something but oh my goodness we laughed so hard we used to have so much fun my nephew and me I, I helped raise him and he was here for a while and oh he was a help he was a blessing and he was so much fun but anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm done we're gonna sew the i'm gonna, I'm gonna finish these okay okay now is the fun part so i've got thick string i use dental floss y'all know if you've been with me any amount of time i use dental floss before i do that i do have to rag my pumpkin now i sew these together with this part where i sewed it well that didn't make sense i sewed the whole thing okay come on what'd you do when i closed up my gap hole when i closed up my stuffy hole um you're gonna put it that's the side i'm gonna string the string through but before i do that i'm gonna take i found this at the dollar tree you all love it i got a little one i finally found them i seen them one time i thought wow i don't need it you just hook that on your fingers and you scruff it across your fabric and you'll fray them edges i like to get rough and run it in my fabric but you don't need to scuff the side that you're gonna stick together yeah that's i know what i'm saying just bear with me people so i'm gonna i'm gonna ugh, scuff up my fabric here i can get them off later i'm gonna scuff up all my fabric edges because that's the way I I want my pumpkin if you don't then skip this part okay y'all better uh, stay tuned for that other one that multicolored I, I'm so excited about it 
I really am. Now, if you start getting strings in your um, thing, it won't do it anymore. So you do have to periodically, periodically clean this out, okay? Okay, now we're gonna take our string. Tie a knot just in case. And then go where, make sure your, your pumpkins are up. Okay, make sure your pumpkins are up because your fly my flowers don't make sense. But make sure your fabric's up. You might not have pumpkin. And I'm going to go right in the middle. Now, you can glue these, but I'm going to tell you what. When you glue it and not sew it where it spreads open right there, you're going to see glue and that is ugly. I'm just telling you, it's ugly. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure all of these are up the way they're supposed to be and I'm going to go in and lay these on top of each other okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them this way so I know that my pumpkin is this way and I that pumpkins that way and I'm gonna string it right through there and bring it straight down now I'm gonna do the next one the same way my pumpkins right there I'm going to go through this middle and I'm going to bring it straight in. That seems to make it easier for me to get my pumpkin layers straight. Okay. Okay. So I've got my 10 sections on there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot. Now I'm carefully going to pull and draw my little pumpkin up. Now you could put more on here if you want to but pull tight that's the reason why you use thick thread or thick string okay pull tight because that's going to put your sections up here okay and i'm going to tie several little knots in here to make sure that i'm not falling apart and then i just clip my string and i'll deal with that later and then we have our pumpkin sections oh my goodness it is so pretty i am in love with this one. Oh my goodness i love that one the rusticness of it okay we're gonna put this over here and we're gonna make a leaf now i have this crap scrap rick scrap 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 crap scrap fabric please forgive me show must go on okay I have these templates. That's a big leaf. I don't know. That's a, that's too small. So I'm going to take the big one. Now look. All you're going to do is put this template on here. Okay? And I'm going to draw around this template. Alright? But I am not going to sew around this. I can't even. Okay? I'm going to do something um, to hold it together and then I'll cut it and it'll be kind of a 3D type leaf maybe when I'm done with this fabric. So I've, I've got it sewn on there, right? I mean, I've got, <laughs> I ain't sewed nothing y'all. I've got it drawn on there. So I'm going to draw a line all the way through okay and then i'm gonna draw a line from here to this one right here and then i'll draw from the middle to this one right here and it does not have to be perfect and then i'll go from this one to this one and over to this one okay like I said, it does not have to be perfect. So I'm going to put my machine on the triple stitch. It's three stitches, and that's just going to give it a little more uh, oomph when I sew it, and you'll be able to see it better. And I'm going to sew my leaf veins, okay? That's all I'm going to do is sew my leaf veins. Okay, so we'll have this. All right, so what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do now is take my pinking shears and I'm gonna cut around 
this black line not cutting on the black line because I'll cut my stitches but I'm cutting around the black line some places you can cut the black line don't cut your stitches okay people just don't cut your stitches alrighty these are so cute and this is just a leaf pattern you can get one online uh, just Google leaf um, and they should pop up you can trace it from your computer screen onto a piece of paper you can print them and cut them out whatever you need to do to get your leaf ain't that cute now I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up just a little not a lot just a little okay that's just because I like that look if you don't don't do it by all means it's your little pumpkins okay so now I'm gonna need my glue gun all right let me turn this on and get it hot all right okay I think I'm hot I mean <laughs> I think my gun is hot oh no it's off y'all i've been sitting here this whole blooming time let me get a real gun this thing junk okay y'all i don't got the big boy don't you love my pink mat i know it it's beautiful uh doll no not dollar tree y'all you can't get nothing like that hobby lobby in the bacon section isn't it beautiful it's beautiful okay so i got this stick let me see i don't know where i got the problem i might did uh hobby lobby maybe i don't know dollar tree had them at one time i don't know where i got it some of them i get out of my yard but anyway I, i'm gonna waller that down in there just when you start wallering look it puts a little hole in there and that's gonna help hold your little pumpkin together too so let's decorate these things all right so we're cattywampus here so we're gonna put it here and i'm gonna catty corner it i'm just gonna stick some glue down in this hole okay and then I'm going to just wiggle that and waller it right down in there. Crooked like that right there. Oh, I love it. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't need a glue stick. So I've got this curlicue thing. And I forget what they're called. I know this is supposed to be a peduncle. But these are the tendrils. I think is what it is. So I'm going to stick a tendril. No, I'm not. Where'd my leaf go? Sometimes it sticks to my clothes. It did and fell off down here. Sorry. So on this leaf, okay, I want it to be uh never mind. It's gonna go right down in there. I was gonna say I was gonna 3D it. So what I did on this one is I folded it like that right there to give it a little pop-up like that. But this one is gonna go down in this crack or this uh right here and stick up from a hump. So we're gonna just stick it up from a hump. I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put glue on here. Y'all, it's getting late and I have still gotta edit this and get it up before six o'clock and I'm praying I'm not late. So now I'm gonna take this tendril thing and I make these, I'll link uh thing in my description if I remember on how to do these. So I'm just gonna put it right down there. I'm just gonna put a dot of glue and I'm gonna stick that right there uh, where's my paint tool this is kind of crafting too and I'm sorry but there you got to craft sometimes when you're making sewing DIYs because you just you have to so I'm gonna poke that down in there pull these out oh it's cute look at that ain't that pretty okay so I'm not done so I've got these um what do they say they are sunflower pick <laughs> from Walmart I love these I absolutely love these so I'm gonna take one off and I'm gonna stick it right there to cover up that yucky and that right there okay put a blob of glue down there and then I'm just gonna poke my sunflower down there Kind of corner that up a little bit. I don't want to cover up none of my my leaf or anything like that. Okay, I'll just show you. I just left the one on there, and then I jazzed that one up a little bit. 
okay so just the one and then a little jazzy now I've got some fabric that I really love and I have some jelly rolls that a friend sent me and I have this piece of fabric okay so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to pick just a few of these or a couple that match this. Um, if I can find them, I think that pink's a little, a little bright. That one might look better. I don't know what's in here. Oh, that orange is pretty. So I have a couple of these I think match and then I have this piece right here. So I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to cut this every two and a half and then I'm going to cut these in two and a half inch strips. Um, maybe not this high. We'll see. Okay, so I got some pieces and I'm going to lay one piece and let this way and I'm gonna lay this piece and I'm gonna see how big I need this to be I want more of this than I do any okay so I need a pretty good piece I don't know why these are so long but it's okay I'll sew them together and then I'll trim it and then I want one of these, and then I want one of these. Why is that doing that? Let me get one that's straight. Oh, my bad. And then one of these. I don't know if that matches so well. I don't think I like the pink. You know, now that I'm looking at it, yeah, I like the jelly roll because it matches this. I really do like that. That's that's pretty. I could actually have done a darker orange, but the pink is a no-go. So then I'll do another one of these. And then one of these. And then this. Okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and sew this to this. And then I'll fold this over and sew this to this and I'm going to go through these, okay? Just like you would be if you were sewing quilt pieces, which I do not quilt, but I'm going to go sew my strips. Y'all, I'm not going to bring the sewing machine back over here. I already have it on my table, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to sew these real quick. Okay, y'all, I've got it all sewn and ironed and the good thing about this you're not wearing it, so it doesn't matter which way this thing goes. It can go every which way you want to. I have to even mine up because it came out wrong. I don't know what happened, but it's not um, unfixable. So I'm just going to lay my ruler, and I'm going to trim my little doodad hangy thingies off. Okay? All right. So now once we have this, all right, we need to sew this to this. Now, you can add more to make it as wide as you want. Now, let me see how wide mine is because I, I, I know I've done fabric pumpkins. I'll link them in the description box. And I think it's um, how you make these is in the same one. I'm not sure. Let me put on... Let me put on two more. Um, it'll be a fat pumpkin. Let me put on two more, okay? Okay, so I added another one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten of them. I don't know what the ten is. must be the magic number. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this to this side. Put my right sides together. And I'm going to sew this down this side right here. And that's pretty much all of the machine sewing that we're going to need to do for this pumpkin, okay? Just match up your sides. And when you're ironing, kind of um, run your iron across it and pull a little bit. And it'll pull your 
otherwise your fabrics will be bunched and you don't want that so you want to pull now if you want to be precise you can go a little iron all those little things open but we're, it's a pumpkin I'm not doing it this is what you get okay you get what you get and you don't throw a fit that's what my grandbaby say so that's what we're doing here so I'm gonna go sew this so we are machine sewing dawn hand sewing here we go I don't know which way this goes I'm, I'm thinking that this um, right here is the bottom so I'm gonna take my oh not that way I'm gonna take my this is dental floss okay use thick thread okay and I'm just gonna do a basting running whatever error you're in era error era your end is the stitch you do now when you get to the end pull tight okay pull it as tight as you can that's why you need strong strong thread here okay now go through your layers of fabric and tie your knots okay now you don't want to go in the middle because we're going to be going through the middle with a big old needle honey a big old needle it's a doll needle but we're just tying this off real good we don't want to come apart now do we no we don't I didn't think you did either alrighty what the world I'm supposed to use my big old honking scissors there I gotta rethread this with dental floss but all you're gonna do is flip this there's your pumpkin bottom and that that don't matter if it comes through because like I said we're gonna pull that through now oh my goodness I'm in love with this I it ain't even done and I, I know I'm gonna whoo let me thread it I'm gonna do the same thing to the top you know I forgot to tell you when I do the top I I like to make it look finished um, especially on a fabric pumpkin like this so what I do is I fold it under okay and I'm going to get this stitch and it doesn't matter if you're on the outside but what I'm doing is I'm sewing a little hem okay and that's just because now instead of this ugly raw edge you're gonna have a finished edge in case you know your stick don't cover it all or whatever you're putting in here um so it's it's real pretty okay it, and it looks so much more high end and professional and just decent <laughs> it's you want your thing decent don't you so i'm gonna fold it down and go all the way around this one okay now i've come out all the way around and i've stopped before i got to this one here okay so now we're just going to grab our stuffing and we're going to stuff our pumpkin and I will give you another tip in case you don't know if you've never heard me say it go buy a cheap old three four dollar pillow from Walmart because you get more bang for your buck okay um, you get way more stuffing in a pillow as opposed to polyfill so yeah so you're just gonna start sticking this in there and I ain't got near enough to stuff my pumpkin but because I, I, I punk I punk mine I punk mine <laughs> I stuff mine plump <sighs> I punk mine stunk I don't know what I was gonna say y'all if I can get this edited and uploaded it'll be a miracle from heaven anyway let me stuff my thing here okay I've got that pretty flat uh, fat you know what I made a plumpkin <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome that looks like a ring of bologna or a hot dog or something anyhow um, I'm hungry I told y'all so I'm gonna take now and pull my strings okay pray they don't break you want a tough string to do this poke your stuffing in there pull tight poke down pull tight pull tight now this will not close completely I have been doing pumpkins for years and I've never got my holes to close completely up here but it's not 
it's not a big deal we got to go through it with our humongous giant size needle anyway and for this pumpkin to shape it i'm gonna just go ahead and use my dental floss because i don't want it to show normally i would use jute and use a well you'll see in the other pumpkin tutorial that i link if if i don't forget if i don't forget but um you'll see what i do so i'm going to get a longer string um of stuff here let me tie this but we're going to use a needle like this do you see this big honky donkey that's what we're using big honky donkey needle right there this so i'm going to go up from my bottom now you don't want to poke it in a hole because you'll go straight through your stuffing you poke it right in the edge of your fabric and this needle's hard to get through that fabric okay you'll have to really push now you want to try with all your might to get to the top of this hole and come out your hole here see right like that right there now pull all right now you're just going to start going wherever you want to around your pumpkin and i try to go in my seams but you know this has a lot of sections i'm not going down around every seam i'm just not going around now you want to not go through the fabric and go through the stuffing because it's a whole lot easier see there so move your thread over and get it on your seam if you want it on your seam pull see how you're going to get your sections there do you see that and then you're going to go around another space and mine is not going to be long enough i just wanted to tell you i have tied these two together and i'm going to pray like crazy that they stay tied because i couldn't get it in there so now i've just got two strands and it is forever long okay forever long so i'm gonna try to keep it from getting tangled and we're gonna just keep going so there's one there so i'm gonna skip one and go to the next one and how i got this way i don't know but i'm going down the hole and i'm gonna come on the bottom hole now and just pull your thread or whatever you got until you get it in there and then pull tight now you know what you're doing you get the gist of what i'm doing i'm just skipping one and then getting one get one skip one get one skip one and that's how i'm gonna do it and then i'll tie it off on the bottom or the top whichever way i end up when i'm done okay Now, however tight you pull is however shrunk down your pumpkin is going to be, okay? That's up to you. So, I'm at the bottom. So, all I have to do is now take my big old needle and just tie it off down here. Okay, I've got my section sectioned off. I have a little string problem here. But y'all my bottom ended up looking better i mean my yeah i'm gonna make this the bottom because it looks more finished we can cover this junk up okay i'm in love i love this pumpkin y'all i do so i have my curly q here um i would so use ribbon but i've already got the jute here okay so I'm going to use the jute and I'm leaving it long, my little tendrils. And there's the piece where I tied it. So I'm going to cover that up with my tendrils here. So, yeah. So I'm just going to go get some leaves. I don't want to make leaves. I, well, I don't know. Oh, uh, yes. I'm going to make a muslin leaf just like I made those leaves, okay? Okay, so I got two leaves cut out this time. And I don't want to take anything away from this gorgeous pumpkin okay 
So I'm just gonna lay my tendril down here, okay? And then I'm going to put my stem in here. So I'm just gonna shoot some glue down here. Quite a bit, because you wanna sink that around your wood to get a good a good stick. It's clear glue. It'll be fine. So I'm just going to hold that and while the glue is setting there's already a little bit a little a little bit of glue here. So I'm going to shove my pumpkin down in there. I mean, my leaf down in there. Oh, that's hot. I am not kidding. That is so hot. So there's one leaf down in there. And then I'm gonna put my bigger one on this side. Oh, it's cute, I love it, I love it, I love it. There is my beautiful pumpkin. Y'all, I love it. I don't wanna add nothing. I just, I love these fabrics. Absolutely love these fabrics. You can gather this up too, I forgot to tell you. You could gather this however you want it bring your gathers down into your pumpkin that's up to you I like it better like that I think I'm not sure yes I love it here's a better look at what they look like overlook my stuff back there I actually I actually sew on granny here but look how beautiful they are oh I love them I truly do. Let me know what y'all think. Which one's your favorite? Are you going to try any of them? Remember, you are a blessing. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.